Hey there everyone, it's Hass here. Sorry for the short absence this week. I once again caught some pretty nasty virus and it's really kicking my butt. But let's talk about Splatoon instead of me complaining. I've been asked a lot for a griller wave guide for Marooners Bay as it's one of the waves people struggle with the most. And I have a proper guide in the making which I will release when I get better but for now I wanted to upload a quick and simple freelance friendly strategy that all of you can easily do and have fun with grillers and marooners so hopefully this will help. The strategy is really simple. All you have to do is stand in this middle platform of the ship and wait for the grillers to arrive as a team. Since grillers stop for a moment when turning around, our goal is to get them on the ramp right in front of us, allowing the team to easily and safely split them. If the grillers are arriving from the right, there is nothing to do here, just stand and wait until they show their weak spot so you can stun them and get the eggs. The strat kicks in when grillers arrive from the left side though. At this point the targeted player wants to stand on the right of the platform near the bridge and wait until the griller climbs down the ramp. That's it. You don't have to and you shouldn't wait any longer. At this moment simply jump back to the middle where the rest of the team is standing which will force the griller to turn around showing its weakness to the whole team and once again allowing an easy and quick splat. That's pretty much it and as I told you it's a really really simple strategy that is freelance friendly and works on all ranks. The spot is a little bit far away from the basket so egg collection can be a problem and some say it doesn't work on EVP but that's completely false. As long as none of the players are slacking with collecting eggs this strat can be used all the way up to the last ranks in EVP. Especially if you help along with some special use for refilling your tanks or splitting grillers faster. And nothing is really stopping you from luring one or two grillers closer to the basket. This is by far the most freelance friendly strategy you can use for grillers on Marooners Bay, so I recommend this as a standard for everyone. But as I said, I'll release another guide with a more advanced way of handling grillers once I get better. Hope this guide is helpful and understandable everyone, sorry for the lower quality than usual. I'll try to recover fast, but my health has been an issue lately. Thank you for understanding, hope this will help you, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section, alright? Take care everyone, and have fun!